Today we're going to talk about paragraphing. How do you know when to start a new paragraph? How do you move from one paragraph to the next? And how many paragraphs is the right number to have? So all real writing ever uses multiple paragraphs. You are never going to open a piece of professional writing and see one ginormous three-page paragraph. And this is for a really good reason. Paragraphs are helpers in our writing. They help us, but they also really help our reader. They help us keep track of ideas. They help readers keep track of ideas. Readers kind of know that when a new paragraph is starting, a new idea or a new part of an idea is being presented. So they perk up a little bit. They pay attention, and it helps them track the big ideas that you are sharing. They also help the pace of your writing. They help you keep a nice steady pace. They help you make it not too fast and not too slow. They emphasize important information. If you have a really big long paragraph, but you particularly want your reader to pay attention to part of it, you might consider breaking that into a new paragraph so that they have sort of fresh eyes and fresh attention in order to look at that. And paragraphs also help us move a story or an article forward. They can help us move through time. They can help us move through a succession of ideas to prove a point. So I'm going to give you a couple of rules for when you begin paragraphs. And the first is you start a new paragraph when you begin a new idea or a new part of an idea. You know, maybe you're telling the story of um, part of your summer vacation. As you move from point to point to point in that story, you might start new paragraphs. Or perhaps you're writing an editorial about how you think Trinity needs to have healthier school lunches. And it's all really one idea. Your idea is that the lunches now are not healthy. Well, maybe when you move from part of the idea, where you're talking about how they're not healthy, to another part, how they don't help you pay attention um, or feel energized for class, you separate those into two separate paragraphs. A second rule is that you start a new paragraph when you're moving around in time. When you're saying like first, second, third, or now, later, lastly, or if you're saying, you know, suddenly two weeks later this new event happened, when you move to a different point in time, you also start a new paragraph. Third, you create comparisons or contrasts um, in new paragraphs. So if you are going to show that two ideas are alike, you put one idea in one paragraph and then switch paragraphs and move to that second idea. You can do this with contrast too. If you're going to show how two things are different, then talk about the first item in one paragraph. And then when you want to show a difference, switch to a new paragraph. And lastly, you pause when your reader needs a pause. And that's part of what paragraphs do. They make us pause. They make us take a breath and rest and start reading again. So you have to be a good judge of this. You have to be a good judge of when your reader needs a pause. And this can be different for different pieces of writing. The important thing is, is that you're thinking not about yourself, but you're thinking about your reader. You're thinking about someone who's going to sit down and read this piece and how you want them to understand it. A great, great, great tip for this and all punctuation when we're talking about pauses is to read your writing out loud. If you read your writing out loud, you're going to start to notice when you get out of breath. You're going to notice when you need a break. That is the spot to make a new paragraph. So there really are no hard and firm rules to paragraphing. Um, there's no right way or wrong way. The right way is the way that makes the most sense for the piece that you're writing, the way that helps the reader understand it best.